Abye is a key oil-rich part of Sudan and has continued to be the region's most volatile area. Sunday, at the beginning of the referendum, militiamen attacked Makere village in Abye, reviving fears of renewed violence during the week-long referendum. Monday saw Messyrian herdsmen involved in clashes in Abye claim they acted in self-defense after coming under attack from the Southern Sudan Army. This, according to the leader, Dr. El Sadiq Babu Nimir. And 35 more Southern Sudanese are feared dead in the region. However, the Sudan envoy to Kenya sought to allay fears that these latest developments would disrupt the referendum process, terming them, quote, isolated cases, end quote. The governor of Southern Kodifan and governor of Yeda were meeting and they were calling the traditional leaders and uh, local communities so that they resolved the issue. Sentiments echoed by former United States President Jimmy Carter. The chances of uh, conflict after the vote has been greatly lessened. So now there's a general acceptance in the North and South uh, that if a vote to, for independence should be cast, we don't know yet, then it will be accepted peacefully. Meanwhile, in Hatoum, the nation's capital, voting hit a slight snag. In the outskirts of the San Scorch Hatoum, scores of southern Sudanese have been camping at the railway station stranded for five days, waiting to be transported to southern Sudan. In Nairobi, the polling centers were almost a ghost town in comparison to Sunday, with some slowly trying to cash in on the week-long polls. Among those who cast their vote was daughter to former SPLM leader John Garang, Gak Garang. She highlighted her enthusiasm for the process while calling for patience. We all need to just work together and, um, and work hard. It's, it's not going to be up to one person or two people. If we all, if we all take um, control and, and take responsibility, then, then we, can, we can all make a, make a difference and, and make something work. The polling stations in Nairobi recorded impressive figures with 900 out of 2,023 at the Blue Springs Hotel and at the Railways Club, an impressive 1,739 have voted so far, almost half the registered voters. And finally in Eldoret, it was a case of same script, different story with the voter turnout relative to Sundays. Eldoret North Member of Parliament William Ruto also paid a visit to the centre in a show of moral support to the Sudanese neighbours. The polling centres closed on January 15th, 2010. Willis Raburu, Citizen Live at 9.